Here's the thing, though. All right. I don't expect everyone to know everything, all right, but definitely Americans are ignorant. Because, like, a couple times after a show, after a comedy show, I've had, you know, people come up to me, hey, I gotta tell you something. Are you uh, North Korean or South Korean? <laughs> am, I, am I a North Korean comedian, bro? I mean, okay, honestly, there's, there's millions of people starving to death in North Korea. They don't allow anybody to escape. If you do escape into China and they capture you, they'll take you back and torture you, and sometimes your entire family. I was thinking, what would it take for someone to escape North Korea to China, somehow learn English through Google, come here, and become a stand-up comedian. He'd be the most ambitious comedian on earth, man. He should get his own HBO special, man. I, I don't care about food, I don't care about clothing. I must tell a joke, I must tell a joke. <laughs> the hell is a North Korean comedian gonna be like, man? <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am American. <laughs> I am American. <laughs> Anybody have food today? <laughs> I tried food two days in a row. It's amazing. It's a serious situation, man. That's why I want to get a tattoo that raises awareness. Like a lot of women, they get tattoos of butterflies above their ass. They're raising awareness. No, they're raising awareness for butterflies. Like butterflies are becoming extinct. And, uh, and every year the wings get bigger and bigger and bigger. I wanted to get a meaningful tattoo, so I got a tattoo of North and South in Korea on my ass divided by my crack. And uh, <laughs> why are you guys laughing? Why are you guys laughing? Every time I use the restroom, I feel the pain of my divided country. <laughs> and you guys are laughing. That's messed up, man. I asked my boy, you know, Walter, I'm like, yo, what if the North Korean lead, new North Korean leader, he said that he would release North Korean refugees into America if you took it up the ass from him. And he was like, oh man, dude, why you ask me these questions, man? He's like, I'll do it for a million. A million refugees, you would have to do it for a million, right? You would have to do it, you would have to take it up the ass if a million starving women and children were gonna be released into freedom. You'd be a hero, man. But you'd be a different kind of hero. <laughs> For the rest of your life, everyone's like, dude, that's the person, you know, like, release the refugees. And they're like, but you know what his statue looks like, right? The statue's like this. <laughs> go, go, go! 